We got these head nets on because the gnats are horrible. Right now they're all over the camera, trying to get to my head. They're on my hands biting right they now. They had a big hatch of these black flies and man, they're everywhere, just chewing us up. We're up here in the Boundary Waters, heading to camp. Brought our dog Henry up. He's been a challenge. But man, I don't know if you can see these black flies. We're hoping to get a campsite on a point facing west, so we got the north, south, and west wind coming at us. So that's what we're hoping for. There's one campsite out there, and we're hoping no one's going to be there. We well, need two trips, second trip. Look, Greg, no hands. Hey, that's awesome. You think of that all yourself. Yeah. Why Why for, your last year our forms were getting burnt out. So we're like, does that work really well? Yeah. When we first started, we had Henry in the front of Zach's solo canoe, but Henry could not sit still. And with the solo canoe being tippy, Zach and Henry were sure to sink like the Titanic. We moved Johnny's pack into Zach's canoe to put more weight in the front to stabilize it. Then I moved to the front of the canoe to keep Henry sitting and still, while Runner moved to the back to steer the canoe. Our plan was to head up to Cherokee Lake, then loop around back to Sawbill Lake. Because of our situation with Henry, we are now heading to Burnt Lake. <laughs> nope. I gotta carry Johnny now on these trips. <laughs> I think you should get fresh water in them bad boys. We got a bucket, we'll, we'll divide them up and throw them in the bucket. Wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it, Zachary. I don't know how that is. Got it. Got it.
What you got there, runner? I have a chameleon hammock. Chameleon. And what's that noodle you're pulling out? Oh, this would be the tarp that goes over the top to keep the rain off. Where have you been, runner? Social distancing. What? <laughs> yeah. The Is that why you've been... Had the social distance. That's why you've been ignoring me? Yeah. Well, you're looking you know. good. Yeah, what'd you say my wife calls me now with the beard? What something, did she call you? Something about the uh, silver fox. The <laughs> silver fox. <laughs> Woo! Woo! What do you guys got there? A little bathtub floor for the rain to keep his stuff dry. He needs to learn how to stake first. All right, pull yours. Tight. You can go tighter. Go yeah. back further. Yep. Yeah, it's like one side, one side, one side. It's ground. It stays where they go so far. There we go. I'll let Johnny use my war bonnet Blackbird XLC, and he's got a 20 degrees underquilt from hammock gear. This should keep them nice and toasty warm. But then, yeah, set your bag and stuff on that, Johnny. So this way I keep it from the wind picking it up and blowing. Cool. So this tarp here is called the, what, a bathtub? Yeah, bathtub floor. It's a bathtub if you, floor. If so it was lays flat, you'd see how the walls pop up like that. Oh, yeah. But since this rock is in the way. This way, if it rains or water comes, the walls pop up around it. Henry and I are going to be at tonight. As you take a peek, we're both on the ground, but uh, seems somebody's mat is a little bit more fluffier than mine. Oh, Henry's going to be sleeping good. Henry, you want to come in? Let's see if he approves. Puppy approved. Look somebody's at that. Somebody's tired. It was a long day. Good night. This will be my home away from home. Look at Henry, he's just focused on that bobber. He knows what's up. Zach and Henry are fishing out this point here. Runner and I took the canoe way down there and we fished the whole shoreline over there. We didn't catch a thing. And Zach's sitting here with Henry and he caught a walleye, a northern. Henry, no. And a bass so far. I think we're gonna stay here and do a little fishing. We're hoping to get a couple of walleyes so we can have a walleye dinner. But we're gonna need to get more than just one walleye. Nope, we got one. Oh, he's off. Oh, no, 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 he's running. He's running to me. Oh, oh, let me get over here. I'm tripping over rocks, you guys. Where is he? Oh, What's it's a, a northern. First, I thought it was a walleye, but it's a northern. Oh, he swallowed it. Dang it. At least I got my bobber back. Well, if I can bring him in before he snaps my line. Man, this is gonna be it's a tough a nice little northern. 
could be in size if we if we decided to, but we're gonna let him go. Well, it's two two pike. Henry, sit. Hey, sit, Henry. I don't know where my hookouts are. I think they're underneath the tree. Henry, no. <laughs> We're up here for five days, four nights with my son, Zach, cousin, John, John, and we got Runner who just came out of hibernation. And where have you been? Where have I been? So Johnny's out there fishing right now. Zach is on the shoreline and he's catching some walleyes, northerns and smallmouth. I'm getting chewed up by the bugs. Man, it is really bad up here, you guys. When we came in on the portage, I was just getting chewed up. I had to put the bug net on my head because it was so bad. And we're down by the lake. It isn't too bad. The gnats are starting to dissipate. But now the mosquitoes are coming out. And just holding this camera, I got them biting on my hands. But it's a beautiful day today. It rained just a little bit. Just as I was setting up my hammock, it rained. But it wasn't too bad. But we're going to get a fire going. We're going to take that walleye we caught and we're going to put them off to the side and save them for tomorrow. And then uh, we got some brats we're going to cook up. So come and join us. What do you say, runner? Past what do you say, runner? Oh, past my bedtime, that's what I say. It's seven o'clock. It is uh, 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock? Yeah, 10 o'clock. Oh. Look at that billy goat. <laughs> what happened there? Can you see him? He's going to fight. Lift up your hat, no. Henry beat him up. Look at those welts. Mosquitoes. And this is 40% deep. So, uh, mosquitoes up here are evolving. Mm -hmm. I guess we gotta go up to 75%. Hand me that. I'm gonna cook one. It's too far. 
by the way. Drying off Henry's back half. Hot dog. It's getting there. These dogs cooking now. Try to get that crispy skin. That no, crispy skin. Can. Crispy skin. They're done. Do you have your headlamp? Oh, look at that. That's how a brat should look. A little bit, a little bit more though. Johnny, that's called crispy skin right there. Oh, no. These are the best ones yet. How are you doing over there? I'll maybe cook one for breakfast. I'll have it with my scrambled eggs. Ah, I like that. Thank you. I have scrambled eggs to cook. Which one's mine? I don't know. I don't know which one's which. What, what are you looking for? The cheese one. I think maybe the front one then. It looks like it's more gooey. How many does Johnny have? I'm gonna make this my second. We have 12, so we're gonna eat 12. I'm gonna make sure um, I buy some of those before I go home. Johnny, you wanna hand me the brat? I'm gonna cook mine now. Mm. Slept great. How'd you sleep? Good. Pretty good actually. I got too hot. Too hot? Yeah. How was the mosquitoes in there? There wasn't none in here. Up there I see a bunch of them. Yeah, I didn't put my top quilt on. I slept on top until probably early this morning. Oh gosh, I woke I thought I was gonna get cold out because the weather said it was. No. I woke up to sweating. It was super hot. They keep the bug net away from your face? Yeah, this over here. Yeah, that worked out nice. Mosquitoes, they've got a cloud them underneath this. I know, I was here. staring at them. Like two in the morning, something huge was... Fever. Was that what it was? Yep, I did heard you, him. Did you hear that too? Yep. It sounded like a huge rock, didn't it? No, yeah, he was slapping his tail. Boom. Look at his forehead. Got some bites. Growing horns. How'd you sleep, Johnny? Good. Yeah. That's a nice tarp you got on the bottom. Where'd you get it? You got hair on your head. I haven't seen hair on your head, man, since you're three. Mm hmm. <laughs> I got the COVID shot and started growing. You like that? I didn't recognize it. You want uh, you want hair? Get your COVID shot. It's one of the side effects. Zach put up the hammock tarp. It's from Superior Hammock, the Superior Shelter. And if it rains, we got a little tarp to go underneath. And we got a firewood underneath there just in case it rains. A little cloudy. It's supposed to be hot. Get up to 80 degrees, 20 Celsius today. It's supposed to be windy. And I hope the wind comes out to 
move these bugs out. Because as soon as the mosquitoes go down, then the black, 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 black flies come out. The fire helping at all, getting the bugs out? Yeah, I got less sit next to it than I do not sit next to it. Yeah, I feel bad for Henry. He's getting chewed up. The bushes here, or the plant life, is raspberries. So about a month or two, someone's going to really hit the jackpot with nice, juicy raspberries. That's kind of nice to have a raspberry plant right here next to camp. So when someone comes in, oh, I would say that towards the end of July, they're going to be in for a treat. Have dinner right by the fire. Hey, Greg. You know I'm a famous rapper in Washington? No, I never would have thought for a minute you were a famous rapper. <laughs> Give me a beat. <laughs> That's not a beat. <laughs> no. Ready? Ready. I want a double cheeseburger and hold the lettuce. Don't be front and son. No seeds on the bun. I be up in this drive through Order for two. A craving on my nine. Like my shoe. I need some chicken up in hell. In this drizzle. For rizzle my nizzle. Extra salt on the frizzle. Dr. Pepper, my brother. Another for your mother. Double, double, super size. And don't forget the fries. Crispy. Excellent. Woo! What you guys got there? Walleye lunch. A shore lunch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fish sandwich. Fish sandwich. Fish sandwich. Fish walleye. Fresh out of the wonderful BWCA lakes. When you're done with the tartar, Greg, you want to throw it over here? They're kicking our butts. What is that to me? King. Ten. Ten? Twenty. I'm not used to Twenty-nine. It. Twenty-nine, go, John. Go. And that's Greg. He has one last card. No, I don't. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear the thunder. Just started to rain, got underneath the tarp in my hammock, got everything put away just in time. And I think I'm going to take a little nap. I love sleeping in the rain like this in the thunder. But I can see clearer sky coming, so this is just going to be temporary. It's just going to pass by. But we made it just in time, got everything put away. Nice and dry. Hopefully this will provide better fishing. The fish will be more biting a little bit better than it was earlier today. We got a few walleyes, had a walleye dinner. But now I'm gonna take my nap, get up, and we also gotta get a little bit of firewood. We should have done that right away. We have that tarp up, so we got some of the firewood underneath there, but we gotta get more for tonight. So oh, I'm gonna take a nap. Take a snooze for about an hour. That was a nice little rainstorm. It's just leaving us. You can see the rain has fallen all the way there. Then it clears up. Nice blue skies. But over here, 
Got that wicked cloud right there. Time to get up, see how much water is in the canoe, and then I think we might go out fishing. Got about like an inch of water under there. It was blowing right in, huh? Yeah, the wind was coming right in here. Oh, I suppose, yeah, that flooded there. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's water in there. The wind is blowing so hard, Johnny's kayak blew away. It blew all the way to the other side of the lake. So Johnny and Zach took the canoe to look for the kayak, and when they found it, they pulled it back to camp. It's really windy, you guys, but it feels good, and it's keeping those flies and mosquitoes and black yeah, flies at bay. Beast. It's definitely 25 miles an hour, huh? It's beautiful. Wind coming in, nice cool breeze. I'm gonna go see how Henry made out. After the storm went through, we just had a new batch of flies that hatched. A little bit bigger than the black flies. I call them ankle biters. When you're in your canoe or your kayak, they go after your ankles. Any flesh that's exposed, boy, they just go after it. And poor Henry is just being attacked. It got so bad he got up and ran to the tent. How's the canoes? Oh, they're good. Uh, Zach's getting some bites up there. Oh, he's fishing? Yeah. Getting some bites? When I first cast it, I had something playing with it, but... There's another storm coming in, but I think it's going to miss us. Right at the edge. You can hear some thunder over there. Otherwise, this is all blue that way. Off. You're like, John, don't, uh, don't grab it. Use uh, the pliers. So what do you want to buy me? Did you get a walleye? I got a good northern. But the northern I caught was bigger than that. How many? Where? Three? The Who's, one out there. Who saw it? You know my bobber's still jigging? I know. I, saw, I was watching it. You almost got a otter. fire going we're winding down batting down the hatches because it might rain tonight the clouds are moving in we're gonna get a good night's sleep tonight I hope it does rain because I sleep great in the rain but the temperatures is 61 degrees which is probably what 15 Celsius it's gonna get cold tonight I believe maybe maybe not well we'll see you in the morning
Good morning, everyone. It's the third morning. It's a little chilly out. It's 44 degrees, which is about 5 Celsius. It's really windy. The wind's coming from the southwest, so we're trying to find a place over here, Runner and I, to uh, eat breakfast. How'd you sleep? Oh, I slept really well. Very well. It's a little windy today, huh? Yeah. She's lit. Yeah, it is. Yeah. What stove you got there? The Fancy Feast stove. What do you think of the Fancy Feast? Well, I like it. Works great. For the winter? For the winter, it works really wonderful. But it works good all season. That's a great little stove. It's really windy over here. Is it more windy over here than over there? Oh, yes. I'm surprised so right you're not cold. Your undercool just not set right. I mean, you got a big gap. Who wants me to throw this? He likes that bobber, doesn't he? He knows what it does. He's throwing it out? Of course I get a leech on it. He's waiting. Then we need to get some wood. We are out of wood. It's supposed to get cold the next two days. Walking in the back of these woods here, looking for some dead trees. And there's a lot of rock formations here. It's really cool. This one is kind of like a split rock. It's beautiful back here. A lot of green. There's a tree that fell, and you can see it splintered right by the trunk there on the bottom. And that's where you find fat wood. So I'm going to go get my axe, and I'm going to see if I can find some fat wood in there. Fat wood is the resin or sap of a pine tree.
Got a few pieces here. It wasn't much, but as you can see, this dark wood in here, that's fat wood. If you smell it, oh, it smells like turpentine. Then you know it's fat wood. Now the purpose of the fat wood is that dark spot, I'll trim it off, and I can scrape some off and I can use my ferro rod. You can use a lighter or matches, and this will start real quickly and it burns hot. And this is really good for starting fire. If you can find some of the fat wood, you keep it off to the side when you want to start the fire. Even if it's raining or wet, this will start. Remember, smell it. it smells like turpentine. Couldn't find a big chunk of it. I got this little chunk. I found a vein, but I was hacking it away. But this is best I can find. So this will definitely work for a couple days. Today we're going to cross this lake. There's a portage over there to a small lake. We're going to try fishing that. And there's a campground over there. We're going to check that out. The fishing's good and it looks like a good campground. We might move over there. But I'm worried with this wind taking Henry in front of that canoe and runner in the back because it's a lot of weight in the front with run, uh, Henry and I. There's the portage. You found it. You went right. You went right to it. Right as rain. The Marine is truly doing an amazing job. Watch those rocks. Don't hit those rocks. How we doing? How we looking? Good, good, good. Perfect. Look at that. It's like we've been here before. Not very far, is it? Sixty rods. Poison ivy. Oh, gotta watch out for that. Oh, kill me. into the wind. Oh. I gotta get this down. Oh, 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 oh. The wind is blowing us you guys. Yeah, right here I think is going to be good. Got one. What is it? Oh, it's a northern pike. We forgot our net. Oh, oh, oh. Boy, he's a fighter. Yeah. Don't have a net, so I'm gonna try to grab him by hand oh. and show you guys. That's a nice one. That's a thick one. I wish I had the net. But I think I can get them. Oh, I 
got them right underneath the jaw. There we go, you guys. Nice northern, real thick. Not a walleye, but I'll take it. Yep. One. Oh, runner's got one. Don't jerk him, Greg. Let him run. If he runs, let him run. Let it be a walleye. Runner just got a nice walleye. It's probably about a 17 inch, 16 inch walleye. We're gonna have a walleye dinner tonight, thanks to Runner. Thank you, Runner. You bet. My pleasure. Check that out. Not like last year, remember last year's? Nice bass. Now I think I find nice my, uh, molly. Find my net, then I'll be happy. Johnny was fishing and he had a northern pike on. He had a net right on the side of the kayak and he bumped it and it fell in the water. He's going in right now to get his net, try to fish it out of there. He got his net. You tell me you're not cold. Cold. That wind will make the Woo. cold, not the water itself. It's a wind chill. Got my net. All right. Got you got net. your net. I got my net. I'm going to go up and play cards with Runner. Got a fire going. Having a nice time. Where'd the runner go? Runner! 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 What? I got it! What'd you get? Oh, he's putting his camp Come clothes on. Woo! I'm gonna get naked back here. You don't wanna follow me. There's Johnny's little love shack. Get them clothes off. Remember, this is PG. Well, you're the film, you're the guy filming. Now the hammock that I'm using is from Dream Hammock. It's called the Sparrow. And what's nice about this hammock, you can convert it into a hammock with a bug net, or you can leave it as an open hammock. The first two nights I had the bug net on, and it was so buggy and warm, it worked out just great. But the next two nights is supposed to get really cold. The temperatures are supposed to get in the 30s, which is two Celsius. And I wanted to test this winter cover, this top cover, to see how it works, to see if I'm getting any condensation in there. So then I'm gonna test this out. And when I get back, you guys, I will give you a review. Now the quilts that I'm using are from Hammock Gear. They're 40 degree, which is about four Celsius. Inside I got my top quilt, my under quilt, I also use an under quilt protector to protect the quilt because yesterday the rain was driving in with that wind and this had splash on there. It was a little wet on there so it protect my under quilt. I always like to use it. It keeps a little bit more heat in there. Probably because it doesn't let the wind get in there. Johnny is out collecting water to filter.
This thing's taking forever. How did you sleep yesterday, Zach? Henry? Yeah. He was out. Did you wake up? Were you staring at you? So we're sitting by the fire, and Henry was never one to just naturally sit there. We usually have to force him, but so we looked back and we saw him shivering. Good thing we brought up this little coat. Sit. Push his head up. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. All right, sit. Sit. We got to get the rest on. back. Strap it over. Hey, hey, hey. Sit. Come here. Bam. You can get cordages if you want to tight it, tighten it. Or if you have a harness on them, you can put it through here. But he's good to go, right boy? Oh, Henry? Seems to be, if you feel underneath it, pretty warm. And hopefully it works. He's, at first he was a little leery about it walking kind of bull-legged, but now it fits him. He's gonna keep him warm, right buddy? Henry, sit. Down. Down. That dog, down. Down. Henry. Henry. Where's Good mine boy. At? Johnny, sit. Down. Down. Dead Johnny. Dead Johnny. Good boy. Good boy. Well, it's the morning of the fourth day. Got down to 34 degrees, which is one Celsius. I had this top cover on, and that helped block the wind because the wind was coming in from the lake. I have a 40 degree top quilt and under quilt, and at nighttime, I was a little chilled, and I'd get up and I'd go to the bathroom, empty that bladder, get back in, and I was toasty warm. Worked really well. Now with this top cover, there's a screen that runs up where your head is, and you can see out of this. It's really nice. It was really cool watching the sunrise because the lake is right here. I got this beautiful view, woke up, watched the sunrise. Then I seen Runner come down here, enjoying the sunrise from my little perch here. The rest of it will block the wind.
and also for gazing at the stars. You have ventilation coming in here. I didn't have any condensation in there at all. I'm gonna cook some breakfast and wait for the other guys to get up. Someone's nice and toasty warm. Huh? I think runners up there getting the fire going. Enjoy our last full days in the BWCA. You got him? Fast. What is it, Zach? Oh, small bass. Temperature right now is 44 degrees, which is about five, six Celsius. Last two days were on the cold side in the 40s and got down in 30s at nighttime, but it's such a reprieve, especially for Henry, because the bugs were just terrible. They just were eating him alive and I felt really bad for him. So with this colder temperature, it is really nice to enjoy the fire and also bug free. Yeah, it's been a beautiful last two days. What's for lunch? Got a little snack. Some old trapper beef stick. With a mosquito. Getting ready for our fish fry. We got shore lunch, tartar sauce, and meat sticks for Henry. And your Crisco. Crisco oil. Someone's hungry. You guys want some pasta salad? Yeah, well, I'll grab that. Should have brought all of it. Look at that. These ones look a lot crispier than the other ones. You want to cover them, Johnny, and get some of that grease off there? Yes, sir. All right, you guys, we're out fishing. We got back. Johnny caught uh, a special fish, or should we say people? We got <laughs> Shelly there. Hello. Regan. Hey. And Brent, who is also a Marine. And you guys, Johnny, if you don't remember, he's a Marine too. Those guys were looking for a campsite. Now well, this area, this there, lake right? filled up yesterday and we've seen oh, at least 10, 12 canoes trying to look for a spot here. It was really sad. They had to turn around and head back. But we've seen those guys, it's kind of getting late and we thought uh, we'd invite them in and we're leaving tomorrow. They'll have this site for the weekend. It's one of the better sites on this lake. So what happened you guys, Shelly? <laughs> what happened? Why'd you come so late? Oh. 
Well, my husband's going to be late for his own funeral because he doesn't know how to get ready on time. Correct, Regan? <laughs> no yeah. way. Yep. Um, we were going to leave at 7.30 this morning. What time did we leave, honey? 9.30. 9.30? Try 11.30. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. better. Um, <laughs> oh, we let Regan sleep in. Yeah, we yeah, did let Regan sleep in a little bit. Um, but, yeah, we had a, a nice ride up here and got on the lake. And we've always come up on a Thursday and thought we would have no trouble because it's a Thursday. Right. Um, Normally, yes, you're yep, doing right. But, but that was not the case this time. Crazy this year. Um, we went in on Sawbill and Walked wanted to come to Smoke Lake. Lake. Um, nothing there. Yeah. So we portaged over here and went around the entire lake, and I mean the entire lake, <laughs> trying to find a spot in the wind. And mind you, it's about what 40 yeah. maybe yeah. 40 degrees 40 here today chills, probably 35 yeah um and it was really cold i looked back at my husband and i said this is the last boundary waters trip for me <laughs> um yeah i'm actually looking forward to my son's <coughs> lacrosse team playing in the cities next weekend with a bunch of bratty teenagers i'd rather be stuck in a hotel room with them um but well, what do you think now though it, you, you know fire, what so we so fish. we were we were walk, you know paddling by and i saw this gorgeous dog out here and um and zach came out and asked if we had found a spot i actually thought he was looking for a spot too and yeah, i said no with that. tears in my eyes and i think he felt <laughs> bad for me or something <laughs> no <he didn't. laughs> and invited us in to your wonderful campsite and and here we are and we couldn't be more grateful Especially this guy right here. I thought this is Regan's first time to the Boundary Water. What do you think, Regan? It's amazing. It's amazing. Off especially a good start. Especially my first time here. I met some really nice people. Oh. Except hmm. for the guy in the blue, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Wow. He's kind of sketchy. Yeah, I know, right? It might be a serious. I anyway. thought he was a sketchy but. one. <laughs> yeah. so, Regan, are you gonna get some big fish up here? Oh God, yeah. We're good going to. Yeah. Right. Especially the rock down there. That we always see on the other guys' channel. Video. Yeah. yeah. They did pretty All well right. on that rock down there. So, Brent, what do you think? I think it's going to be a great weekend. Hey, Hopefully uh, the bugs won't be bad for you guys. Oh, yeah. And you guys we will have some good fishing though. We appreciate uh, being brought into this campsite and uh, pretty small world that uh, there's a bunch of Marines camped here. Yes, so. Semper Fi. Let's get a hoorah. Hoorah! All right. morning everyone it's the last day someone there doesn't want to leave he's just like us loves it up here well we're packing up maybe we'll eat a little bit of breakfast otherwise we're on our way home it was a great trip 
Had a great time, great fellowship. Being quiet because those guys are sleeping over there. Brent, Shelly, and Regan. So we're trying to be as quiet as a church mouse. You can't get Henry out of the tent. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Come on, Henry, we gotta go. Gotta go. Here comes our pooper. We just went this morning. What the heck? You gotta go, you gotta go. Well, Henry still doesn't want to leave. Got down to 32 degrees, which is zero Celsius. Got a little frost uh, on some of the equipment. A little bit of frost. Frost on the bottle. Hope you had a Hope you had little a ice warm, you could hear the ice. Slush. A little chilly. Slept well in my hammock. Oh, probably around 3 o'clock in the morning, I got a little chill. Went up, went to the bathroom, came back in, and then warmed up real quick and woke up about, oh, 4.30. Sun is rising right now. We're almost done packing, except for Johnny. He has to do his business in the latrine, as usual. But we're going to finish packing and head on out. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. God bless. Poppy boy, you don't want to leave, do you? No, no, no. You want to stay here. I don't want to leave. Let me stay here in the BWCA.